Hello and welcome back. So I just modeled sort of a basic low poly spaceship that's under construction. One wing hasn't been attached, the engine is still open. Um, now let's put kind of a fake engine in here. Um, if you wanted to model an engine, like that would be kind of a lot of work. So we're gonna, we're gonna fake it with a tool called Surforge. Uh, open up Unity and with Surforge I used the poly lasso tool to create some fake geometry and I mapped that onto the surface of the ship. Now, this is where the engine should go, there's nothing there. And for that we're going to use a tool called the Greeble. So go to the third tab, and when you activate Greebles, this box appears. Now I'm just going to drag that down here. You can use the middle box to drag and the outer boxes to resize. Now I'm just going to zoom in on that. And if you don't know how to use the tool, you can always drag Unity and um, Surforge has tooltips for everything, so if I hold the mouse over this, a tooltip should pop up. Yeah, there we go. So it says left click to scatter, shift left click to grow, right click to reroll, shift right click to remove in order, and then you can move it around by dragging the blue squares. So first off, I'm going to left click. Uh, I don't like the pattern though, so I'm, I, I'm actually going to shift right click to remove that. Click on this pattern and then left click. Now if I hit space, you can see uh, it mapped that shape onto our object. And I actually really like the way that came in. That, that looks awesome. Now I'm just going to uh, left click a few more times and uh, change up the pattern. Space to render again. And that looks like a pretty fantastic engine for how much work we just put in. And, and again, you could model this by hand, and if, 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 the, if the player is going to see this up close, you probably would want um, actual geometry coming up out of that. Uh, but if you're seeing it from a distance, I think that, that this is more than enough. More than enough detail. So, um, now why don't we try to put something here. And that corresponds to uh, this shape. Oops. Now we, we could put something like that on there, but it's going to look fake, because this is like a door. Uh, I don't want it to be completely blank, though. So I'm going to try this one. Render. That looks alright. Why don't we try this one? Now this one's a little bit different, because uh, if you drop it on, it, it, it looks like pipes here, but when you start left-clicking, it, it no longer looks like pipes. Well, that's because you have to use the Grow feature, so that's going to be Shift-Left-Click. Right, that's the second option here. So left click once to place the pieces and then shift left click to grow the pieces that are that are under the selection. Alright, now I'm gonna move this down. And space to render. It, it doesn't look super realistic, but I think it looks interesting. Um, so I, I think I'll stick with that. Now just move it over to the second door piece and repeat the process. Click once. And actually, I think I'll... I'm going to shrink my selection so I just have like a few coming in. Click once. I want to see if I can make one piece stretch out across the whole thing. And it looks like that one got stuck. Alright, space to render. Looks pretty good. I like how it made it kind of like burnt looking. So that, that's about it for the Greeble tool. And if you don't like where it put your pieces, you can right-click to re-roll. So, like, I'll use this pattern. Click once. I don't like it. Just right-click, and it, it just randomizes it. And shift-right-click to delete. So that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video.